going on, guys? So I was out and about earlier. We went and had a nice lunch, and there was the marshals that we have in town as well as the Ross Dress for Less nearby. So I went ahead and jumped around and checked it out. As you saw, there was it was abysmal at Marshall's, and Ross actually had a few things I was interested in. So I grabbed Tommy Summer Ocean Wave as well as Hollister Festival Nights. So I've actually had people ask me, about the Hollister fragrance. And for 11 bucks for the one ounce, I said, why not? It's worth rolling the dice. Let's check it out. It might be a nice little gem that's super cheap, or it might just be a waste of $11. Don't know if I don't try it. So let's bust these open real quick. Let's show. Festival night was $10.99. And then hopefully they didn't recycle this fragrance a third time because Tommy Summer 2021 was the same thing as Tommy into the surf so I haven't checked the notes so I hope it's not the same situation but this was 20 even though it doesn't want to focus so I'll bust these open and we'll check them out well I already busted it open here we go Tommy summer ocean wave okay juice color is a little bit different so I don't think it's the same let's give it a spray two good sprays It's not the same as summer 2021 and into the surf. Something a little fruity, a little spicy. But it does have an oceanic feel. It's aquatic, but not... I don't think there's anything watery here. Hmm. It doesn't smell super unique but it also doesn't remind me of any one specific fragrance or group of fragrances. Definitely has a summer vibe to it. Okay, this is a good summer flanker right here. I'm pleasantly surprised. I was hopeful, but I was expecting a recycled fragrance because they've notoriously done that a few times. It's solid. It's decent for 20 bucks. Nothing I would say you need to rush out and buy, but yeah, I'm sticking with that. There's something a little fruity here. It definitely has an oceanic vibe to it. Um, not really sea breeze, salt, salty sea breeze type of stuff, but I don't know, something, something tropical about it. Not necessarily super watery and aquatic, but oceanic at the same time. I, I know it's kind of confusing the way I'm saying that. I'm really trying to find the right words for it, but a little spicy a little sweet, a little fruity, but tropical nonetheless. Let's pull these notes up and see what it's looking like. Okay, so Fragrantica didn't have it, but Parfumo did. So here we go. I got it pulled up on Parfumo. It is 2022 release. I have the notes on screen for you guys, but lemon, apple, bitter, orange. So there's your fruitiness with apple, pink pepper. There's some spice. Juniper berry, palm leaf. That's just kind of like a green herbal scent. I, maybe that's what's giving it that... Kind of tropical feel, oceanic feel. There's nothing watery here. Akigala wood, tonka bean, vetiver, and musk. There's nothing oceanic and aquatic about the note breakdown outside of maybe palm leaf, but that's not really an aquatic note. So I don't know. That's kind of, kind of surprising how they pulled this off. It does have a summery feel. Casual type of scent. Daytime, hot weather, gym, running errands having lunch, going to the beach, you know, this, not bad, not too bad, I, I, I'm happy I picked it up, you know, this is, this will get some wear out of me, if nothing else, I'll wear this one in the evenings, I'll wear it to run errands, and I'll wear it to the gym, like I was saying, I think it's best for, it's probably what I'll use it for, now let's check out the Hollister fragrance, okay, I got it out, there we go, all right, it's, oh, twist to open. Huh, check that out. Let me pull the sticker off. Okay, a little bit of a gimmick, but well, sprayed right away. All right, one good, good spray, too. Good atomizer. That's a, that's a fruity, playful, but warm type of scent. Let me wave this off real quick. Smells like ginger, like a lot of ginger, big blast of ginger. Ginger and something a little fruity. 
This one might have apple in it too. They don't smell the same. There's actually a nice contrast to one another if you were to get both of these. Because this is a very playful, youthful evening type of scent. I can't see too many 50-year-olds really, you know, loving this fragrance, but I do believe anybody of any age can enjoy this nonetheless. But it definitely leans more youthful and playful. Not a real serious fragrance. This is still summer evening, casual, going out having, getting a bite, getting some wings with friends, having some drinks, stuff along those lines, maybe going out to uh, an amusement park, carnivals, stuff like that, like you're going to be outdoors in the evening. This is that kind of scent. I like this. It doesn't come across too chemically synthetic. This was $11 for this 30 ml. This is a little bit better than the Tommy fragrance. I'm curious. So ginger, apple, those two things are jumping out at me. Ginger, apple, fruity, I'm thinking it's apple. Big dose of ginger, gotta be ginger. Maybe a little ambery. Now that it's calming a little bit, there's something spicy about it. Could be a pepper, could be cardamom. Kind of hard to tell, but there's clearly a spice that's not just ginger. Even a little powdery. Let's, let's pull it up. Okay, since I'm already on Parfumo. All right. There it is. Festival night for him. I'll have it on screen for you guys. Top is Mandarin Orange Leaf Apple. There you go. Bergamot. Heart notes of ginger. Napoli Sichuan pepper. There we go. There's my ginger. There's my spice. And Ambroxan. I didn't see that coming. Okay, I can kind of get it a little bit. A little shower jelly type of feel. The good thing is that'll probably help performance, though. Base notes of tonka bean, musk, and sandalwood. No amber. It does have a little bit of an ambery smell to it, though. Yeah, this is, this is day and night here. So this is a nice nighttime casual scent. Whereas Tommy's a nice daytime casual scent. Both summer weather appropriate. Let's rate these bad boys. So Tommy Summer Ocean Wave. It's already gotten a little weak on my hands. So performance is probably not going to be anything special here. Uh, this is, like I was saying earlier, more of a casual daytime scent. Great for the gym. Great out the shower. Running errands. Things like that. The scent on this one is very nice. I think it's better than good at a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10, I think, is a good rating for this. It's nothing special. It's nothing I would recommend you guys run out and get. Um, but if you see it out there for 20 bucks, any of this sounded good to you, you do a little further research, and it looks like something you would enjoy, you could do a lot worse for 20 bucks on a fragrance at a rack store. This is actually smells really nice. Just don't go into it expecting great performance because I don't, I don't feel like it's going to perform that great. Now, in regards to Hollister Festival Night, I really like this. For as youthful and playful and, and casual of an evening scent as it actually is, there's something very charming about the aroma. I love ginger in a fragrance. I love Sichuan pepper. That's one of the most underutilized spicy peppers pepper notes that I really enjoy. I used it in business over pleasure. It was one of the notes that I really wanted to work the creation around because it's one of those spices that's nice and bright and warm that hits you, doesn't stay long and kind of fleets. It starts to fade pretty quickly. So you get a quick hit of spice. That's what I love about Sichuan pepper. And it's, it's used very well here. Mixing with the ginger, that little bit of fruitiness, I really like this one. I'm going a 7 out of 10 on Festival Night. This is definitely better. This is a very good fragrance. Especially, especially for $10.99. I can't think of another $10 fragrance that I like as much as this one. I cannot think of one. Like I said, again, is this something I think everybody needs to run out and grab? No, absolutely not. But... If you're out shopping at the rack stores and you happen to stop by the fragrance section, which if you watch this channel, I'm positive every time you go to a rack store, you stop at the fragrance section. Eh, 11 bucks. Why not? You know, why not? I mean, in some places, that's how much a pack of cigarettes costs now. That's a, you know, meal, a large size Big Mac meal at McDonald's damn near. You know, it's 
for a solid fragrance that you'll probably get a lot of joy out of. Yeah, 7 out of 10. Well, that's my first impressions on Tommy Summer, Ocean Wave, and Hollister Festival Night. Some nice little gems. Pretty good casual daytime scent here, but this is a nice little super cheap gem. Super affordable, um, casual evening wear. They really complement one another for this can be the day and night setup for $30. You can have a nice summertime day and night setup here. Casual, if you live in a warm climate, you're by the coastline, you have beach within you know, a short distance, this could be a great setup for you. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried these, and what do you think about them? I'm very curious on your thoughts. Make sure to sound off in the comments, whether you love them, whether you hate them. I'm very curious what you guys think. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one and you give them a spray now, eh, possibility you might thank me later. Have a good one, guys.